Got original 1950 Cornet. Uh, original AM radios. These things are huge. Even the, the chrome plate on the front of it. These are cool cars. But it's a huge radio. And uh, this one's been in the works for a little while. Uh, we've done quite a bit to it. And uh, we're going to fire it up. It has a, it's a tube, tube illumination they call it. So it's, uh, it acts just like it did back in the old days. And uh, what you do is just turn it on. And uh, it takes a few minutes for it to warm up. It's AM radio. Uh, I like your toner that moves. You got treble and bass, which is voice and uh, mellow music. I like how it warms up. You got a little operating LED where it tells you the status of where the radio is. It has an AM, FM. It has auxiliary in. It is 6 volt, negative ground. It's got a brand new speaker in it, uh, which kicks pretty good. If you, uh, this is your off, this is your off switch. One, two, three, four, any of these will turn the radio on. This one here is to switch it from AM to FM. So if you want to go to FM, just push it in. That'll take you to FM. The light turns a different color. is Barbara McWiggin. Welcome back to the good fight. And, and, and wait for the... So I give extra... Now this radio here with the new stuff will seek and scan for you. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. That's why there's little LEDs here. If you, uh, I'll show you how to seek and scan stations without the needle moving, because this is a Chrysler. They're not set up like a Wonder Bar. And uh, I'll show you how to lock on a station. I'll show you how to actually find that station, and it has voice ID in it. So now we're on FM. We want to know what station it is. She will tell us. Uh, the way you get into your seek and scan, just turn the tuning knob twice. The light gets blinking right here. Now it's going to start scanning station for you. Families stay a lot longer than they We're going to let it scan a few stations. I'll show you how to lock on one, and I'll show you how to each actually they, even find it. Still scanning, this little light still blinking. You have an extra channel in case you want to put another speaker somewhere, but in 6 volt, that's about all you're going to be able to run. And it does have a good sound. Dude. He's giving his life to helping churches. Say we like that station there, all we do is take the tuning knob and turn it one time, the light gets flashing real quick. Now it will stay there and lock on it if you don't touch it, or if you start moving the needle, it'll let you find it. There it is. Now we'd like to know what station that is because we're on FM. We got an AM dial. All you do is take your, your volume knob and turn it up three times. Nine, two, dot, one. So it'll do this on AM and FM. It'll tell you what station you're on. That's pretty cool. Uh, it also has a uh, auxiliary in. This is your two-piece cable you'll be getting, plugging in the radio, running this wherever you want to. You get a mail to mail, and all you do is just plug it in and take any device you want to, satellite radio, your phone, MP3 players, and all you do is just turn it on. It automatically changes over the light, go green. Thank you. 
got a good sound to it. Anytime you want to go back to radio and you're on a device, a little light's green, all you got to do is just bring your device up, turn it off, and in 20 seconds, if you don't touch the radio, it will go back to where you had it set. Uh, if you want to shorten that 20 seconds during that time, just turn the radio off and right back on, it remembers. But if you don't touch it, it will automatically change back over, and that's what we're going to let it do. We're checking it out, make sure everything's right on it. The light changed back over, back on stereo FM. David is. David, so many people feel like that means. That is FM one, two, three. ABC off eight, eight dot nine. Eight, eight dot nine. That's your original 1950 blues, a new version Mopar of Dodge Bond. Chrysler. Uh, these went in a lot of different Oregon. vehicles. Uh, original AM radio in six volt. Uh, with the tube elimination, it has to warm up before you can do anything. It warms up just like it always did. And uh, appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.